Greetings. I wanted to show you this changing up from the videos I've been doing lately to do kind of a product review. Just so you know, it has been hot here in central New York. Tomorrow, the temperatures are supposed to get into the 90s. Today, it hit 88. As far as I know, that's the high for the day. And it gets hot in my house. I don't have the best insulation. So in the winter, when we've got the heat on in the house, without the kerosene heater, this room is usually in the 60s. In the summer, even if it's only in the 70s, the sun can make this room get really hot, go to 82, 83 degrees. And when it's warmer than that, it can get as high as 89 degrees in this room. And the air conditioning doesn't touch it. So I've been looking for something that could help to cool me down because a portable fan just blows around hot air. And I had someone recommend the Eva Polar Personal Air Conditioning Unit. Now, there are three of them, and I happen to get the most expensive one. It's called the Eva Smart. That's what this is. And the way you can tell that, of course, is that the other versions have a very small uh, panel where you can do anything with. And this one's got the big one. So I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes what that does. And it also has this thing here, which is where the water goes. And there's a filter in there as well, but it's detachable. The others are on the unit itself. You have to come pour the water in it. Uh, but this one here detaches, which makes it easier to get the water in because I'm always worried, or at least I would have worried, about pouring water into it and letting it fall on the desk or actually go over the desk where all my plugs are <laughs> and electrocuting myself. I don't think I would have liked that. So anyhow, this is what it is. And it's not that big. It's basically a square, six inches all around. So I just want to show you. So there's that. And this is where the air comes out. And I'm not going to turn around on the back. Just to let you know that what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to draw air from outside uh, you know, in the room. And it's supposed to pull it through. And it's supposed to clean it up. And it's supposed to cool you down. And it says it could cool it down as much as 15 degrees in your area. Well, we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about a few other things with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. And let's see if you can hear it. Now, just so you know, I have the fan on full. And if I want to turn that down, which I'm going to, you push that. And then I can hit the arrow, which I'm doing. And you see it's going down kind of slow. And I'm just going to put it on 75 for now. And if you could hear it really loud before, you can see that on 75, that's not bad. So you can do that. And at some point, that will go away. Look, okay, there you go. Now, this thing here allows you to actually change colors. So you can see this color that I have right now, and you can't really see the same color I'm seeing because mine is a little redder. But that color is going to slightly change over time because I picked something where it has a pattern of colors that it will show. I'm going to talk about that. And then there's this light up here, which lets you either make this brighter or darker. And that's pretty much what you can do with that. Um, for everything else, or for anything else, you actually have to download the app, <laughs> which I had to do, and then it took me a while to get it to connect with my Wi-Fi. I have no clue why. It took me about 15 minutes, and I went online, and I did some research, and I found other people had some issues with it, but eventually I got it on there. And you know what the app basically does? The app lets you turn it off and on without being next to it, it lets you change the speed of the fan. It lets you pick random colors because here, if I push this and just push colors, you only get to pick an individual color. You don't get to pick like anything that moves around, but you get to do that. And you can change the weather. You see this is brighter or lighter or darker, but it was the only thing you can use to change it from Celsius, which it initially comes in to Fahrenheit because it's not a product that's made in the United States. So 
that was really driving me nuts until I found out I actually had to get the app for it. So that's what this is. Now, notice the temperature. So right there at the top, it tells you right now it's 83.9 degrees in my room. And it will cool it down, supposedly, to 81.6. It's not going to clean uh, cool down the entire room. What it will do is it's supposed to cool down an area within a 45 square foot area, which basically says that you have to keep it kind of close to yourself. Because even on high, when I have it at 100, it doesn't blow all that hard. So let me just show you. This is the edge of my, of my <laughs> desk. I sit pretty much here. And look how close I have to keep this to me so I feel anything. However, because it's only going to drop the temperature that's blowing on me, maybe two degrees, I'm not going to feel much at all. And if you just saw that, you just saw that it actually ticked up a tenth. So it's even going to stay warmer than that. And I had to go do some research to find out, okay, why isn't this cooling any more than it is? And here's the biggie. In the manual may have said this but i found it online the humidity has to be minimal for it to really cool a room so what i came across it said that if it's 70 percent or above that it's not going to work at all which basically says that if it's close to 70 it's not going to work well the humidity in my office right now is 64. that's as good as it gets so this is not really going to do me all that much good. I mean, two degrees, and I have to keep it really close, which means I lose some space. Um, and I can turn the fan on that's off to my left that's a lot bigger, and it gets a lot more air on me. And I got to tell you the truth. This, to me, is kind of a bust. It really is. And just so you know, these things come in three price ranges. The least expensive is around $99. The most expensive ranges between $199 and $269, depending on where you get it. I got mine off of eBay, and I paid $89 for it. And this is the high end, <laughs> because sometimes people will give you a deal on eBay. So I got this for $89, and it was, it was brand new when I got it. It was totally packed and everything was all set up it had you know it had never been opened the plastic everything so this is the eva polar eva smart probably if you live in a drier environment it might do better for you i tell people all the time that central new york this is the land of a bunch of lakes and rivers i have a stream that runs behind my house uh where i live was built on a swamp I mean, this entire area was built on a swamp almost 200 years ago. So it's a wet, wet area. That's all I'm getting. So I'm not overly impressed with it. Um, what I have understood, though, is that if you live in a drier area, you can put it close to you at night if you overheat a lot. It doesn't use up a lot of power. So your electric bill's not going to go up that much. Matter of fact, it's probably going to go down. If it works right for you, you're not going to have to turn on your air conditioning because you've got something really close. But I wish the fan was stronger and I wish it didn't rely so much on the humidity part of it. Initially, I thought maybe if I put some ice cubes into the reservoir that that might help. They ain't done nothing. <laughs> so that's the Evo Polar. That's my little review of it. I, I don't recommend it. I just can't. But, like I said, I'm in a humid area. If you're in a dry area and you want to give it a shot, go for it. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you like this kind of thing, I don't get products all that often. But, you know, if you like how I did it, think about subscribing. I talk about all kinds of stuff on this channel. Y'all take care.